We're going to be cooking some uh, chicken wrap. It's like a Caesar chicken wrap. I'm going to put a little olive oil in here. And uh, I'm going to cook me some onions. I cut them in uh, slices like this to where when you cook it and kind of keep it all together. So we'll put it on the wrap so it really enhances the flavor. Right now I got it about 208 degrees and uh, I think it'll be a pretty good temperature to cook it at. Throw a couple of onions in here and get it going. I'm going to have uh, a lot of different things going into this wrap. But I think the onions is the most important thing, one of the most important things, because it really just gives it a lot of flavor. And all I'm going to do is cook just these down until they're good and brown. That's all I'm going to be doing right now. Um, now I'm flipping the onions. I like them to be a little kind of brown and just you know, flip them, try to keep them together the best you can. If they get, you know, out of, out of, uh, out of the round rings, it's okay, just as long as they get brown. That's the main thing we're doing, is getting them brown. And I'm using a little black iron skillet, which, that's what I prefer to cook them in. But you can use a regular skillet, any kind of skillet you have. As long as you get the onions brown, it's the main thing. Okay, the onions are pretty much cooked down now, and uh, to where you still have a little flavor of the rawness of the onion a little bit, but mostly it's cooked. So I'm gonna take them out now. And uh, it's, it's roughly, you know, about 10, 15 minutes cooking time. It doesn't take a whole lot of time. It's just brown a few onions. And uh, all right, now I'm about finished cooking my onions to a good texture, kind of brown, and uh, I mean, it's like you can just slop them up just like they are, but get through cooking that, I'm going to go ahead and throw me in some bell peppers, you can't forget bell peppers, I, I mean, everybody that I know in South Louisiana loves onions and bell peppers, so I'm going to put me a little bit of olive oil in here, and uh, cook down these bell peppers right here. Might be too many to, to start with, so I'll take some out. Saute that down real good. Fry them down, you know, where it'd be a little soft and uh, get that flavor, the inside flavor, that flavor come out of there. We'll cook that down for about 10, 15 minutes. Alright, I got some bell peppers I've been cooking down for about 10-15 minutes and I'm going to take them out. You just want them kind of brown around the edges, you know, just kind of saute them a little bit and then we'll go ahead and take that out. And that'll be the end of the onions and the bell peppers. Alright, I got some chicken that I cooked earlier to make it faster on this video. So all I'm doing is heating this chicken up. I'm heating this chicken up, then I'm gonna put the tortilla in this black iron skillet and heat it up for a little while. I'll show that in a minute. Now, if you're cooking the chicken from scratch, you, I cube it, cut it up and cube it and season it, and then cook it Oh, you know, about five, ten minutes, just put enough to put in the skillet and cook them down and take them out and repeat. Doesn't really take a whole lot of time to cook uh, chicken breasts. This is uh, filet chicken breast that I put in there when I'm cooking. 
And all right now I'm doing is just heating it up. Alright, now that we put all that together, cooked everything, we're gonna put the tortillas in here, the black iron skillet, straight down in there, and let that cook down for about roughly 15, 25 minutes aside. 15 to 20 seconds aside, and uh, and then we'll take them out and put all this good stuff together. Well, uh, it doesn't take a whole lot of time to do tortillas. Just you want to heat it up real good. Is all you're really doing, heating it up. Alright, now we got a tortilla that we heated up in the black iron skillet. We're gonna go ahead and put a little cream cheese in there. Sour uh, cream? Uh cream cheese, sour cream, but this time we're using sour cream. But you can use either one, it doesn't really matter. But you would need enough uh one right here. Place some of this cream cheese in there. Sour cream? <laughs> Sour cream. I'm sorry. Lay that in there. Kind of spread it out. Get it all up in there real good. Alright. Then, after we do that, we're going to throw a little chicken on top of that. Not a whole lot, just a couple of pieces. Because remember, we got to wrap this up. So, I'll throw a little chicken in there. And then, we're going to go to our onions. Throw a little onions in there. That I cooked in a black iron skillet earlier. Put a couple of bell peppers in there. Like that. And then, we're gonna add us a little bit of a few little tomatoes to go with it. Like that. And then we're gonna add a little mustard. Just a little bit. Very important with the mustard. Not to add too much, just a little hint of it. And then we're gonna go with the some uh this time we're going with the Cheddar and Monterey Jack uh, sliced cheese. Sliced cheese, you just put a little, sprinkle a little bit of that on there. That would be good. And a little bit of romaine lettuce on top of that, like that. And then, we're gonna try and wrap this bad boy up. Well, and we're gonna cut it in half. And that's what I'm saying, that's a wrap. And that's what she looks like inside. And that's a wrap with the Cajun chicken wraps. That's what I call them. Y'all have a good time.